Hello. Hello. I say it the same way. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to a blah blah blah. blah Hello. Blah, blah. Welcome back to a that? vlog. That's better. Welcome back to a new vloggity vlog. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, governor. Got a spot of tea. I like the way you say it. You say it the same every time. Well, do it again. Do it properly. I don't want to. I want to hear it. Do it right. Mm -mm. You're making me feel self conscious. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, so foodie. Hey, act like we didn't just have this entire conversation, okay? Yeah, I, I still have no idea what's going on. Explain it. Foodie again. kicked quite the hornet's nest. That's exciting. Her sticking her nose in and defending Cyrax. And I refuse to believe she has no idea about this cat because all she does is sit around watching TV, YouTube, all that shit all fucking day. No, I don't know who this is. And I watch YouTube all day. It, he doesn't, he's, he's not a, like a Chantel reaction channel. Right? Mm -mm. He's just like some random internet guy. He's like on the level of Dragon Lord Frodo shit, just kind of known for being fucking weird. Okay. All right, I got that after the first minute. Um, that, That's his whole thing is he's just known for being weird. But dude is 100% uh, PDF file. He's a creeper. He's a creepy creeper who creeps. Okay. Sounds like Chantel's kind of guy. Well, let's run down the list of PDF files Chantel has defended. Mm -hmm. There was, first and foremost, her Uncle Phil uh -huh. and Phyllis, Uncle Phyllis, who said on stream that she wants to be intimate with 12-year-old men Ugh. if she goes to Cuba. Wow. There was her putting on lingerie, taking her tits out, going on Omegle to talk to teenage boys. Oh, yeah, that was a thing. There was uh, Pete's saying a bunch of crazy shit because, you know, Pete's is a fucking psychopath, and Chantel defending him on that. And there was Karate Joe, and now there's Cyrax. Uh-huh. Okay. So somebody... It just was shit talking her. Uh, I think his name is like Music Biz Marty, maybe. He was shit talking Chantel. So Chantel immediately takes it one step further. And then this guy was like, Oh, is this is this what we're doing? So this guy went to Cyrax's house and kicked his ass after he got caught messaging a decoy thirteen or fourteen year old girl. Ooh. He was shit talking Cyrax. Cyrax said, "Come, do it." The dude did it. <laughs> Good for him. Um. So Chantel decided this is the person I want to fuck with. Well, of course she did. Chantel is a genius. Chantel is so used to girl world trolls, right? That she didn't think somebody was actually going to do it. Meanwhile, so her mom got swatted. Oh. There was talk about a, a an SW going to Uncle Phil's house. But you know what? Honestly, this is the rules of engagement she set when she went after people's jobs. She actively advocated for her chat to dox people and yeah, contact their work. That's true. These, uh, to, to mess with people's family. She doxed Dee Dee's mom's right. nursing home. Right. Told people to go fucking call her. She sure did. These are the rules of engagement Chantel set. Somebody else is playing these rules better than Chantel. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to act all outraged. How could this man do this to Chantel? She is not only reaping what she sowed. Yeah, she's not innocent. She is not only being beaten at her own game. <laughs> all we are going to do is sit here and enjoy the show for what it is. I think that's a great idea. I don't idea. think that there is any... But uh, I said this on Twitter, and I'm going to throw it here too, and I'll, we'll play the video that started it all. And Again, this is the timeline to the best of my knowledge. Uh, let, let's think about this. Just zoom out for a second. Chantel is a 40 year old woman who's gone on Omega in lingerie to talk to teenagers. Yes, she has. She has actively advocated for people to get doxxed, people to have their jobs fucked with, for people to have their houses fucked with. Mm -hmm. She has defended at least five different PDF files. She has actively hated children a lot of the times in the same stream. That's kind of weird. And not only that, she has celebrated school shootings for money. That's also true. Yeah. So, she's, these are the rules of engagement you set, Chantel. You're not allowed to play the victim now. No, yeah, she should uh, leave people that she don't know alone. Or she could just kiss her husband. 
Yeah, what's that about? That's the, all the guy wants. He said, kiss your husband on camera. She's, he's never going to kiss That's her. That's not going to happen. Because he's a, not a real husband. No. Ooh, Chantel. I got to tell you, when I saw that, I ugly laughed. I was like, <laughs> He's never going to kiss her on it's camera. not going to happen. Never going to happen. So my official stance is... This is the rules that she made. Yeah, she's to enjoy the show. She should have left the dude alone. A lot of people's um, crow. She should mind her own business of her own drama on her own portion of YouTube and not go into <laughs> other people's drama. Well, she, you know, it's something that she could talk about that she could put in the title that would get her cl- get her clicks and money mm-hmm. and all that shit. Well, lesson learned, Chantel. I uh Oh, you just threw me off of what I was going to say. I'm sorry. We have to go to Walmart after this. No. I need beer and orange juice. <laughs> okay. okay. The, you have to those buy two things coffee. are not connected, but <laughs> I, I need beer and orange juice. If, if we go, you have to buy the So this is the timeline as good as I remember it, and we're going to cover what she did to start. What the hell was I about to say? I have no idea. Let me that. pause this to see if it comes to me. Okay, I remember. A lot of people in this community crow. Oh, and all of that. Uh-huh. That's the cherry on top of all of that. She's an animal abuser. Well, yeah. Yeah. Like, I can't believe I forgot that, but she's an animal abuser. A lot of people crow about karma. When is she going to get her karma? What, <laughs> this is exact. This. Okay, forget the fact that she's. <laughs> I was watching Yabba stream yesterday. You know, she does the Alexa, what's the temperature in Kuwait gimmick? Uh-huh. 124 degrees. Oh, I love that for her. Not only is that her karma, this is her actively getting her karma mm-hmm. you reap what you sow and as far as i'm concerned it's time to sit back and enjoy the show she's really she's lucky that this guy is just bothering her family in canada and not like sending kuwaiti authorities to her house where she is now which they could do and they absolutely could do oh yeah because especially what she says in this video Right. could absolutely get her in trouble in right. Kuwait. like like sending a craigslist prostitute to her aunt is yeah, I mean, it, it's not sending the police to arrest her in Kuwait. Yeah. It could have been a lot worse. Well, she still hasn't kissed her husband yet, so we'll see how. <laughs> I think I think uh, Sir Colta Crow posted a quote on Twitter from this guy, and he said, Chantel might be dumb, but I'm just getting started. Oh, I was like, Oof. boy, she's in trouble. She, is, she done kicked the wrong... But her mouth gets her in so much fucking trouble. She thinks and she's going to she, get... She's uncancelable. She is untouchable. No one can do anything to her. YouTube will never delete her channel. She can do whatever she wants. Stop touching my microphone. It's, it's unhooked. It's fine. Leave it alone. It, well, that's what she thinks. But all right, let's get into this video. Again, this is the best of my knowledge. We are watching on Just Saying's channel. In the YouTube algorithm, the one that a member of... A- Oh my god. So let me get my food out because I need some energy for this today's discussion. And she deleted this video. Oh yeah. Okay. And we'll get more into this on Sunday because I'm sure I will genuinely be shocked if we don't get a good rage stream. Yeah, from this her is by not Sunday. the end of this. No. God no. I can do an angel baby cup. We had some of these leftover cups. So this was after the stuff happened with her no, family. No, this was before. Okay. And I really know I already did this for the phone, but again. I love sushi from this place because they don't use black nori, which I hate. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got 20 boxes of sushi again. Oh, yeah. lovely. Oh, is this wasabi? Is it? Woo. I will not be eating that. I don't like wasabi. Fight me. I don't care. I can't do it. All right. Wasabi is delish. No, no. It's the spicy green stuff. Oh, I didn't like that. It was yuck. No, no, no. All no sushi for you. Look yuck. I need to use these chops. Go I away. literally Go. almost threw up when you made me put that oh, in my mouth. Up. Here. That's the first time I've ever heard that. No, it's not. <laughs> Go get them. <laughs> it's usually, you know what, never mind. No, don't go there. TMI, bit. So, um, unfortunately, I have some scabs on the internet coming for me. So, I have to address this once and for all, and then I'm going to go back to ignoring these relevant pe- morons, because I'm not going to care about a channel that has... He should have done that in the first place. That would have been your best bet. 6,000 uh, subscribers, and is just someone who threatens to beat up women. Hey. I only have 4,500. That means I'm less than. Maybe you should well, threaten I... to beat up women. Like Chantel said. You do threaten to beat me up all the time. Well, you deserve it. 
You yeah. don't you don't actually do it, but you do threaten it quite often. Well, I also threaten to stick your head in the toilet too. I know. So take it for what it's worth. I know. <laughs> um, God, you keep making me forget what I'm going to say by saying something else. I I have a thought brewing, and you're like yellow, and it just throws me. <laughs> You're talking about how many channel subscribers you have. I did once hear of a guy who was almost as handsome as I was that had a channel with like 25,000. But that went away. Mm. So, <laughs> uh, let's get the food here. Maybe, yeah, I said no. So we have some crab and shrimp volcano maki, which you're not getting. I, I would fight a score of women for those sushi rolls. Yuck. I'm single-handedly trying to bring score back. I don't think it's going well, but I'm trying my damnedest. I see you trying. No, you can't have the... F no. It has spicy sauce on it. God, I would just it take that cat and football throw her into I'd the other room. just give that cat a big snuggle. Excuse me. Here. Here, baby girl. Just a line drive. <laughs> Maybe if she fed the cat, it wouldn't always seem like it was starving. It's a street cat. Yeah. So come be mesmerized. Yes, Mackie, Mackie. She is so sick of this fucking cat. Well, the cat is probably used to standing there and then her throwing bits of food to it while she's eating. So, I mean, it's learned behavior. I stand here, I get food when the big thing eats. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the big ball eats, I get food thrown at me. That is literally how humans domesticated wolves. I mean, that's how she's domesticating this street cat, so. And... Let's have some, this is rock shrimp, Mackie, and they have um, white nori, um, or not nori. They don't have any seaweed, which is why I like it, because I find it too fishy. This has tempura shrimp, something else and something else. Tempura. With spicy sauce. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Spicy sauce. So this scab of the internet has decided to come for me, based on an opinion I have. I love these hypocrites who can spew their hate and their opinions online all day, and when someone- <laughs> tries to give it back to them and point out their behavior, it's an issue. Well, you're gonna go cry somewhere else because no one cares. <coughs> really, Chantel? That's that's the line you draw. All right, so this is soy sauce. We're gonna call this guy Marty Farty, but I'm not gonna tell you who he is, and don't say him in the comments because I'll delete your comment. Don't. Oh, I'm just gonna tell you exactly who he is and yeah. talk shit about him. I think his channel name is Music Biz Marty, so I'm just gonna call him Marty. Oh yeah, that's what's in the title here on Just Saying's title. Good, good job there, Chantel. Give him any yeah. or attention that he's oh, it is right there. <laughs> so, okay. First bite for you guys. You, you could just kiss your husband. Yeah, it's soy sauce. That will never happen. Can you please just show me a chick pinch? <laughs> nice, Don't kid. touch my face. I'm gonna start doing that. If, when you're gonna shit talk me, I'm gonna start doing that and be like, "Don't oh, touch! I, I don't like my hands on my wife. face. Don't touch my face. You're gonna give me a pimple. Don't touch my, my face. My lovely wife. Don't touch my face. My freshly hand mowed grass. Ugh. Mowed grass hands. Hey, I cleaned the kitty litter box. I'll touch you with my hand. I washed it though. I don't care. <laughs> you I'll wash your, your hands after you mow the grass. Why would I? Because you're touching the stinky lawnmower. There's germs on it. I touch your face. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Slap. You like? Mm. Bismillah. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna talk directly to you, okay, Marty? Marty. I find it pretty hypocritical. That you? Anything Chantel finds hypocritical, you are fully okay. able to just take that opinion, crumple it up, and throw it in the trash. Yeah, well, yeah. I I want to know did did this guy make a video about Chantel? Like why is she even addressing him? Wait, I think a video or a live stream, something like that. And she just happened to catch wind of some random no subscribers, she nobody channel just talking about her and got upset. Her name all day. Okay. If this guy's so beneath her, why is she watching him? Can sit there attacking me because you accuse me of being a p pedo um advocate which is just you are i mean you, you literally actively are. have been in the past <laughs> ridiculous yeah and you've done some questionable things yourselves and i'll get to that in a minute yourself not plural oh, but you have no plural. <laughs> all six of you problem yourself being a woman beater so this person has threatened to beat me up look on the hierarchy how do you know he's a woman beater on the hierarchy of bad things, somebody threatening to beat up Chantel is a little bit 
not as bad as advocating for children to be. I, yeah, that, that's true. I mean, does she really think the guy's going to get on a plane, fly to Kuwait, and come beat her up? She is so. Are you, is, are you, is she taking that threat seriously? Well, somebody, sh- somebody showed up to her fatty fashion show. So yeah, she has stalkers. I, I, I guess. I mean, he probably he, he probably could go to Kuwait and beat her up, and probably won't get in much trouble for it. <laughs> I mean, she, this, this is cool. Which is hilarious because my husband has a black triple medal in Kung Fu. <laughs> a black triple medal? A what? Wait a minute, a what? Pull it back. Which is hilarious because my husband has a black triple medal in Kung Fu. A black triple medal. In Kung Fu. Oh, okay. Uh, and I saw him play with those nunchucks when they first met, and he looked very intimidating. I know. Waving them around on the couch. I don't have money to make a, a good enough promise on this. <laughs> but I was talking to Ammo. And I'm like, if Salad can throw a real punch, I'll shit my pants live. No, he can't. I mean, he wouldn't. If that's not, he would do like, oh yeah, a karate chop. There's no punching. There, he, it, he would whack you with his kung fu sticks. That's what he knows how to do. He's got a black metal belt. It's it's like rock music, black metal. Oh, I'm getting a spam call. Nice. Stupid spam. Leave me alone. What is your ringer on, too? Oh, I'm sorry. I would drop kick your fat ass and flatten you like a pancake on the ground. So Chantel's like, how could you dare threaten to beat up somebody? My husband will beat you up and then I'll sit on you. <laughs> <laughs> so she immediately gets offended. Somebody <laughs> s- supposedly threatened her physically. Yeah. And then okay. she threat and didn't a week ago she threatened to beat up FFG? Yes. It's okay for her to threaten to beat people up and to talk shit about people on the internet. It's only okay when she does it. She has fatty privilege. Uh. I'm not afraid of you. If that doesn't happen, if I'm alone, you'll go to jail. I'm not I'm not Cyrax. I don't take crap from you. I don't take your threats lately. Well then don't threaten people. She doesn't realize that the internet is much bigger than Gore World. Mm, and if she you thinks thre- literally the whole internet is just her. If you threaten somebody, they're going to fucking call you on it. Mm. And this homie did. Boy. So keep incriminating yourself. Second, you need to let it go, man. I said what I said. I said what I said, so you shut the fuck up. Right. And after this video, you're not going to get any more attention from me. And if you keep coming for me, it's criminal harassment, and you'll just go to jail and be butt buddies. What's that, Rex? Oh, we see how you sent FFG to jail for her criminal harassment, Chantel. I don't think anybody's worried about that threat from you. Which is like, know what you really want. Cause she's like, she has like fifth grade insults. Mm-hmm. With your butt buddy. Hmm. Very good. I don't watch your videos, but And that's homophobia against YouTube TOS. Yes, it is. That Call is against help. YouTube TOS. Someone's well, it's her religion. So. I don't like what these things. That's true. <laughs> I think she wore the hijab for five minutes before she came out against the LGBT community. Yeah. Oh, the most degenerate people. This other chick is a twin. <coughs> you look like her, actually. I think this is what you look like, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like the quartering. Uh, oh, okay. I, I'm going to put this guy's picture up on my video. Like, what are you doing, Chantel? You actually look like Heather and Cyrax had a love show. That's what you look like. Chantel, you were just defending Cyrax five minutes ago. Don't try to use him as an insult. So that's what so this started because she defended the guy who's a, a creeper. Yes. And this Marty guy doesn't like the creeper guy, so then he came after Chantel. Yes. Okay. That's why you can choose to hide behind an old man avatar. Anyway. Might Wait, so he's a person on the internet that uses an avatar, and she went I, I and think, sought out his picture to post. I think he, he's, I don't know, I've never watched his channel or anything like that, but I think he kind of does like how I do. Right, Most of my stuff, an avatar, but pictures out. Yeah, I my face is in the other half of my shit, so I think he's kind of like on the same level. Right. Well, beat up Cyrax, a person much, 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 much smaller than you. So this person's smaller than you, Chantel. Couldn't that mean you could beat him up? Yeah. I think you should. <coughs> I think you could try. <coughs> uh, she put down her chopsticks to applause. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, that took an effort. 
Well, here she goes having a conversation. Yeah, the conversation with What's herself. What's he come for? A six foot two, triple metal kung fu, in shape man. Where? In, in sh is, is with salad? his flabby titties and his birthing hips? Salad is the in shape man? He might have been when he, she met him, but he sure is letting himself go. His, his lust for life is gone with his new wife here. I saw those legs. You could shave them and use them as a fucking. <laughs> you could be like the, the old school slow pan up from the ankle to make the legs oh, look real long. Oh, God. Oh, God. Good luck. Almost. Almost. <laughs> anyway, all your friends are recorded. Cute. You're not above the law. This isn't Indiana. I'm not from Indiana. Or wherever you're from, Ohio. Hey, watch your fucking mouth. Hey, don't you talk about Ohio. Seem to be pretty useless wherever you're from. I think that's my thumbnail. That's a good thumbnail. <laughs> Why do all these girls do well, Undertaker the, the cops eyes? cops seem to be useless where you're... Is he, should he, is he supposed to go to jail for talking about you, Chantel? What is... What is this? Why do they? Is, is it a federal offense to talk about Chantel on the internet? Why do they all do Undertaker Eye? I don't know, honey. Now I'm looking for a. I don't see the picture. I don't even know what you're talking about. They all do Undertaker Eye. Uh, what? Just give me a good damn pic. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. Oh, oh no, not Facebook. Fuck off. All right, let me pause this and find that this is going to be... I thought this was going to be a quick gimmick, but apparently not. Whenever they eat, they always do Undertaker eyes. <laughs> They're possessed by... The binge monster? The binge monster demon. I think I used Undertaker eyes in the binge monster donation. Probably. Oh, you see she's doing it. Uh-huh. So I hear you're threatening another standard thing you do. Threaten families. Threatening my family. Chantal, you have done that numerous times. Yeah, I am reminded of Dee Dee's grandma or whoever Mom. in the nursing home. Her Mom. Mom. The, yeah, Chantal, just stop. Family. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna just, I'm, I'm just gonna say. If you come near my house, my family's house. If you come near my family's house, maybe my favorite action movie, Taken, but a mukbang. It's... I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll find you. <laughs> Does and she I think <laughs> he's gonna just go cross the border into Canada and take his passport to beat up her mother like what does she think is gonna happen she's just gonna stand in line at fucking american airlines to hand the ticket here you go i'm going to beat up an old lady in canada <laughs> oh, what? she I is such that. a simpleton for anyone for that matter <laughs> my stepdad owns several hunting rifles in canada okay honey i i think you can own hunting rifles in canada but they have to be like the, the old timey, yeah. The, the riflemen, like right. I, Canada is still in 1826. I imagine it wise. is. But no, I, this is all bullshit. She has never mentioned this once before, ever. And wait, and I, she just shit talks every bit of her life, so she would have absolutely mentioned this. And she's talking oh, and about Shannon. her dad. Her 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 dad's not even in the her picture. Her dad. Oh, okay. Shannon in FFG's chat. Yesterday, because she watched this before she deleted it, she was like, "This is that fucking true." <laughs> I doubt it. And a crossbow. Oh, oh, a crossbow! Did you see that look on her face? Like it. Ooh. My, you know, my stepdad is actually the guy who rides a motorcycle in The Walking Dead. <laughs> it's hunting season, Marty Farty. So good luck with that. And just so you know, if anyone comes to our home with the intention of doing anything harming us, it's always pedophile hunting season, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Which we'll assume. Since you made. Uh, that's right. Some law stuff. Uh, sections 34 and 35 of the criminal code establish that a person is not criminally capable. Culpable while defending themselves. Yeah, right. self defense. Since you made violent threats already, we have a right to use force. 
Yeah. I, I just love... Oh, fuck. Hold on. I got to find this picture. Did this person make violent threats against your mother? I, I highly doubt this guy said, I'm going to beat up your mom. I got to so find... So I don't think your mother was threatened violently. The, oh, here it is. Mary Cab on Twitter. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Here, oh, fuck. this one's good, too. One in the comments. What? <laughs> okay, it's from Mary Cab on Twitter. <laughs> That's fantastic. And who made this? Michael Furberger. You're getting a follow back for. Oh wow, fifty thousand followers following me. Nice. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sweltering hills ninja. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. These are very good. Fantastic. That's not a threat. Not I mean, it literally is. I promise you. Yeah, I don't think he made violent threats against your mother for your stepdad to shoot him. With a crossbow. With a crossbow. I don't think any of this happened. Don't take another step because I have to <laughs> grab another bolt and bend <laughs> over and pull the thing up and then pull it back up. <laughs> it's like threatening someone with one of those... Civil War guns where you right. gotta Hold on, shove I gotta, the thing I gotta down. Push it in there. <laughs> yeah, I've said that before. I think you have. You're literally gonna threaten me with a panel of degenerates like, ooh, Heather. And the other people on your panel are like school shooters in the making. Well, then you would love them. I mean, yeah, that's that's your favorite thing to make fun of. When I saw your picture, you're like the stereotype for troll neckbeards. Can More he, putting his picture up, yeah. Just, just keep it, keep digging your holes, Chantel. He looks like Jeremy. He does. Except, never mind. I think you're, you look like an incel when I make it. Chantel, you and your best friend Pete's are actual fucking incels. <laughs> yes, yes, she is. We we see how you lean into those cheek pinches, ma'am. All right. I don't know the pig roast. Is she roasting sure. herself? I'm not a pedo defender, okay? You are. You are. So let me explain one more time what happened with Cyrax. So open your crusty ears, okay? Um, n now, after I've shit talked you for eight minutes, I'm going to explain why you shouldn't be mad at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got some, this was like not a long ago, some videos. I just freaked myself out because OBS was moved to the other monitor, mm -hmm. and I just had the my Google page open. I'm like, oh, fuck, we're not even recording. <laughs> Are we? Yes. No. Recommend to me about this Cyrex fight. Because I fall down. Weird people on the internet do polls all the time. Yeah, if, okay, if you if fell down... Okay, why are you inserting yourself into them? If you fell down this rabbit hole, how did you not know... That he's been caught, like, sending pictures to people he thought were kids. And I think there was one or two actual kids in the mix. Like, how did you not know this if you were down that rabbit hole? Yeah, that's a good question. Like, dude is we, he, er, duh. But that's, like, headline about him. I didn't watch complete videos because, like I said, most of the videos that were recommended... So you, mm. you didn't go down a rabbit hole. She turned them off right before they got to the pedophile mark at every single video, clearly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Were related to okay here's the ones i saw the ones i saw were a few of them uh, a few were like um the police being sent to his house um him beating someone up who came to his house which if you come on my property yeah i would you know were threatening you you just said if they came near your property you'd beat them up now it's they have to be on your property and threatening you right i mean you you talk I seem to remember a uh, similar case where Sam Hyde showed up at Boogie's house and Boogie started shooting in the air and he got arrested for it. Oh, yeah. Talk about someone every day. You push them to the limit and they show up their house. What do you think is going to happen? Well, I, see, I don't know this too well, but from what I understand of it, Cyrax was like, yeah, come to my fucking house, man. So he did. Mm. Anyway. A nice warm hug. <laughs> Morons. I'm not defending Cyrax. Let me get to it. I'm not def defending him, but I'm also not defending the people who antagonize. 
here's where Chantel. So, wait, so like what in a in a previous mukbang she brought this up and was like people leave this poor man alone. In a stream, yeah. Okay. I think we covered it. I think it's when you were falling asleep in the middle of the show. No, that didn't happen. Um, I, I'm pretty sure we either talked about it or covered it. She was like, his haters are just as bad as mine, and people hate him for no reason. Okay, okay. And people in her comments were like, he's... Yeah, I had no idea who she was talking about. He is, he's a, he's a pedo. And she's like, it fucking doesn't matter. Or something I like that. for lols, okay? You're all wrong. All of you. Okay, there's shit talking someone on the internet. Then there's sending naked pictures to kids. Yeah, that's one is much more wronger than the other. Yeah. But in Chantel's head, they're exactly the same thing. Right, because the people who are trolling her are probably the same people that are trolling him. So she should join forces with the pedo. Well, not the same people, but the same kind of people, if that makes sense. Right. Another one I saw was these women would pretend to be in a relationship with Cyrus, and then he would send them all kinds of pornographic material of himself, news, whatever. Yeah, you're forgetting the part where they said they were 14. Mm. And then they would yeah, go on a panel, show them, and laugh at them. I saw that. Um, <clears throat> I saw them calling him Goblin. I saw them. Oh, wait. It's, it's not okay to call people goblins? I, apparently not. That's weird. Uh, you know, talking about his family. All of this is shit Chantel has done <laughs> slash actively does. <laughs> like, I think in the uh, last video she was talking shit about uh, just Breeze and having kids. Yeah. Um, somebody shot a bullet through a rubber bullet or something through his window. D don't send nudes to kids. Yeah. So to me, at an initial glance, I didn't watch everything in great detail. Maybe it's weird that this is the one thing you didn't know about. <coughs> oh, right. Which is why I find it absolute yeah, it's bullshit a lie. that she didn't know. She knew. Snippets, because like they're hours long. These these videos and streams about him. So I will admit here, this is my bad. I didn't fully look into it before opening my mouth about it, okay? You, if, if you wanted to get some redemption, you would have started the video with this rather than shit-talking this man for eight minutes. So I wasn't defending behavior of his that I didn't even know existed at that time. No, I mean, you were. But because it was just someone you think you could get to join forces with you? Right. So whenever someone came to my chat and said, why are you, you know, defending him? He's a pedo guy, whatever. I didn't think anything about it first because I thought... Yeah, you just ignored it. Uh-huh. People throw that word around. Not really. No, that's a pretty serious accusation. It usually doesn't come from that's, nowhere. It comes from somewhere. That's one of the few things that still actually has meaning. Right. All the time. All the time. So you didn't care. Just say that. You just, didn't care. She didn't care. Without knowing what it means. Without knowing what it means, people uh, just say... I know what she's about to say, and it is as disgusting. For, like, the three people who haven't seen this, it is as disgusting as you think it is. A pedophile definition is a psychiatric disorder where you prefer exclusively, pretty much exclusively, have a sexual interest. There is no such thing as pretty much exclusively. And a child. That's what the definition is, okay? Is she... Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. She just well actually <laughs> They're minor attracted people. She, they deserve respect. She is two seconds away from pulling that out. <laughs> well, he's not actively having sex with it's kids. He's just sending disorder, names to them. So well, that's, that's what it's Pete said. okay. Yeah. That's what Pete said. That doesn't make it okay, Anytime I, you know, I saw a few videos where Cyrus was, I never seen him where he was like, he was always in a relationship with, um, an older woman, like his age. You, you can tell she's lying by how fast she eats to move on. Mm -hmm. And if he was, wouldn't he be arrested? Wouldn't he be charged? You know, something. Because the law doesn't take that lately, so I thought nothing of it. I thought it was just like, because Negs does that. He throws around that accusation a lot. 
Oh my god, the fucking chew. Just saying, you think you can just cut the chewing out? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, next, I heard you say, I was watching one of your streams, and you I said how you're more successful than you, and don't care what you think. Chantel, you're getting like 10,000 views a video. I wouldn't talk about being more successful than anybody. Yeah. But good luck with your DVD business. I'm just here to tell you no one's going to pay for an old used DVD of a Devin Sawa movie, so I hope you have plan B. She did it again. No one's going to pay for an old used DVD of a Devin Sawa movie, so I hope you have plan B. Undertaker eyes. Why did why do they do this? That's weird. It's so weird. I had to rage okay, hold on. Funkle activity, rage binge. Oh yeah. A blanking on the entire bingo board. She definitely demon cat voice. Demon cat voice. Uh brings up money. Random singing, I'm sure we have. Haters. Oh, rants about haters, shame someone. Mm -hmm. I think we've got at least a bingo. Oh, definitely. And for sure, Funkel activity. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Oh, my God. So then when someone came in and said that, more than one person, and I was getting comments about it, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do my homework. Did you? <laughs> That's a good face. I don't think you did. If she had a collar, she'd be pulling it. I'm gonna look more into it. So I actually found, after some digging, um, <laughs> some. There was one specific video where I saw all the screenshots between him and this decoy. They basically what they did was they like it's called it is entrapment, which is why he's not apparently legally. Um, uh, see, did she not realize how saying shit like this? It, it's it's not. Police set up decoys all the time. It's not like, oh, you were just sending nudes to a decoy underage girl, so you're not in any trouble. That's not how it works. The police make decoys. I'm pretty sure he was arrested for some of this stuff. It, it depends on if the person who was decoying him turned him in or not. I, heard of I, I don't they know They might not much. have. They might have just posted it on the internet to laugh at him and not actually called the FBI. But if they had, he probably would have been arrested I for don't it. know how that shit works, because I see stuff like that all the time, like people who are trying to do their own version of To Catch a Predator and shit like that, so I don't understand how that works. Right, a lot of them don't turn the people in, but I guess that it's not entrapment if the decoy doesn't bring up sexual things first. Mm. Like, as long as the adult, a, a quote adult, brings it up first, then they're in trouble for it, no matter whether it's a decoy or a fake or not. I don't know how that shit works. That's why he's not in trouble for what he did. So they sent him... But does she not realize how saying shit like that is still viewed right, as like, a defense. Well, they only pretended to be a kid, and since nobody turned him in, he didn't get arrested, so it was fine. Not like having a what? of age, pretend she's 14, and they went back and forth and had some very uh, inappropriate sexual discussion. Okay, that I don't condone. I find that disgusting. But you just did condone it. You, you literally just. You literally just did. Do I have to say that again on a loop? I do not condone that. I do not condone those conversations. But you just did. Do I have to repeat myself? You, well, I, it'd be you, nice if you made sense. You just said. He didn't get arrested. It's no big deal. All right. I didn't know about them at first. I don't know about this Billy kid or whatever. I just, I don't even care about the situation anymore enough. You know, I'm just, whatever. I'm not condoning if he had really bad behaviors. You know what I mean? Like, in my opinion, let the law. But you have actively defended it. You now that you're just getting shit for it, you don't want to condone it. Right. She just defended it 10 seconds ago. Deal with him. Um, just, yeah. So. She's just, I, I have to say, I don't condone it to cover my ass. I'm covering Literally, my ass yes. right now. That, I don't condone it, okay, but I, it's totally fine, and I get it. Um. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just accidentally put on lingerie and go talk to teenage boys on Omegle. Sometimes you just accidentally live stream your aunt talking about having sex with 12-year-old uh, men. It's fine, I guess. That's it. That's the story of it. So now I have this loser on my neck now because of, you know, what I said. <laughs> That's a... It's a big thing to hold on to. <laughs> you can't handle anyone saying anything, any criticism. Um, really? Chantel? You? You're saying that? Right. Are you going to fucking rip ass when you get up then start crying and delete the stream, almost get a divorce over it? Right. I, I'm, I'm really bothered by this guy on my neck who can't take criticism. So I'm going to spend an entire video criticizing him some more. Just to egg it on. Yeah. Like, what is the point? This is... Do you, it, to, 
dissolve the situation, you would say, I don't condone what he did. End. Just and eat I, and I'm talk gonna, about something else. I'm going to kiss my husband on camera. <laughs> you, you don't go in on him, Chantel. Jesus Christ. Now, here's, <laughs> here's the other thing I don't understand. Chantel actively does all this shit that she's crying about. Oh, yeah. All of it. Every time. But it's different for her. It's, it's different when she does it. If you can't handle anyone saying anything, any criticism. Um, then why are you doing it? You know, you, you antagonize the situation. You do. You, you go to his... Yeah, Chantel, you, you've yes. never antagonized a situation before in your life. <laughs> Literally antagonizing it right now. Home, move across the street to antagonize. And then beat him up. And then, like, it's all just a stupid thing for entertainment. Uh, you know? So it's it, it's weird. She goes, I don't condone this, and continues to defend him. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm not defending his actions, but at the same time, I just don't see how antagonizing the situation is any better. You know what I mean? So that's my opinion. And that's all I'm going to say about the subject from now on. I'm not that's talking about stupid. this at all. Any comments left about it are just going to be deleted and ignored. And I'm just going to leave it up to the law if you show up anywhere near my family or myself. Well, here's the thing. Honestly, I Chantel knew what she was getting into. She had to. She knew what she was doing, but she is not in Canada. So she doesn't have to deal with it. It's right. her family right. that has to deal with her shitty actions. Yep. So she doesn't give a shit. Of course she doesn't. Self. And if the law won't interfere, then I have a right to defend myself. Again, crossbow rifle. You, you're not defending anything. And he didn't threaten your parents. So for them to just shoot him with the crossbow is not legitimate self-defense. So that's it. That's as far as it goes. Like I said, Canada has different laws, different cops. And uh, there's only... Do they have like two cops? There's so much you can do before it becomes criminal harassment at this point. But any threats are recorded. And um, when I... Well, I hope okay. I hope you realize that even if you delete a video like you did to this one, it's still archived elsewhere on the internet. I mean, you know, if <coughs> if FFG coming to the Fatty Fashion Show and adopting her cat that Chantal claimed was criminal harassment and would have her jailed for years in Canada mm -hmm. couldn't happen, and I don't see how she's going to jail somebody from a completely different country. Not, for making threats on the internet. Not only, as far as I know, is this dude not in Canada. She just said he's, he's not in, in Kauai or yeah, Indiana or something. He's somewhere in this region. Right. When I go to Canada, I guess I'll have two people to deal with now, legally. Oh, it's no, still no, with the no, FFG. No, we're, we're going. We're gonna. We're gonna get everybody arrested. Everybody's going to jail for talking about me. They're gonna go pick up FFG, and then they're gonna <laughs> pick up uh, what's his face, and everyone's going to jail. <laughs> anyway. It is what it is, right? Baby cat! Are you destroying the tyrannic killers? Be the cat, Chantel. She's is, hungry. Is the cat's... Oh, she said baby girl. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> Julia, hi, baby girl. Let me manhandle you. Oh, oh that cat is so not happy. Cat, it, it, the cat likes salad. The big one is scary. The cat, she just feeds it. That cat is not happy. So. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. She's got a cheek scratch. Is it, Look, we feel good with your cheek pinches and Her cheek treats? scratches? The cat's like, get the fuck off of me. We give her a lot of things, toys, food. She just lays around all day, enjoys the sunshine. The least she can do for us is give us a little bit of affection. Oh, yeah, God. Sure if that... this is not indicative of Chantel's entire fucking life, this was what we just saw was a tiny little compilation of the entire Crackhead Olympic arc. <laughs> At least you could do is give me a little just attention. Just pretend to love me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, I want to say one more thing. Oh, oh I gotta dig the hole and deeper. I don't want to address this person anymore either. That's got to be a deep hole. Um, I don't watch this person. Uh, you, apparently, you do. I don't watch. You. Oh, she's talking about uh, uh, just breezing. I watch you through yo mama, so don't flatter yourself. I hear like you, you like address me in your videos. Like I don't even listen to you. But one thing you like to do is go low and be like, I know you'll never have kids. I know you can't have kids. As if spreading your legs and popping out offspring is like such an accomplishment. Then why do you bring it up? I wish you wish you could do it though, Chantel. She's probably telling people there that she is pregnant. I guarantee you, she's telling people that she's pregnant. They, if it's true that they live in a f building for families, that's the only way they got in there. Mm -hmm. No, it's taking care of those kids after that's an accomplishment. And you know what? It doesn't hurt me because I know you're not talking after all the shit you've said about your mom and how she raised you and just dumped you while she chased your funkle dad around. Right. Taking taking care of kids is not an accomplishment from the woman who can't even take care of a pet. I, I think that's quite an accomplishment. 
I don't want children. I don't like them. I find them to be evil little demons. And I really don't care. I like... I thought you wanted to adopt. We, I thought you wanted to be a mother so bad you were going to adopt. So in the same video, she has defended a pedophile and called kids evil little demons. <laughs> this is That's why she doesn't care what they do to them. This is going to be a real disgusting comment, and I'm sorry in advance for anybody this offends, but shut up. Um, I think that's why she defends pedos yeah. is because they are actively harming children and she hates children. Same reason she defended school shootings. Yeah, makes sense. It's something that actively harms children and she hates children so much that she likes when bad things happen to them. And I feel like she probably hates them because she can't have them. I think she's just too selfish of a person to have children around because not only is it somebody that needs taken care of, it's somebody that gets attention. attention away yeah. from her. Yeah. I love my sleep. I love doing whatever I want any time of the day. I like all the extra money Do I have. That you sitting don't... in the house, looking at looking at your blue couch and your cat that won't let you pet it? I mean, in reality, I think that is what she wants. She wants to just sit around and eat herself into an early grave. And yes. she is doing She's it. She's doing it. You don't have to worry about it. I love it. So, what, who are you insulting? Really? What? But then why are you offended? Yeah. You're the what? one that's upset about it, honey. What, I th what a disgusting little rant. Right. From such a tiny person <laughs> I, mean, I mean she is she's not tiny well but you know what i yeah, mean tiny. she is unabashedly a massive human being yeah but she is such it's a, a tiny human awful disgusting thing she's and see it's it's comments like this that make me go fine right. you know, do whatever you're doing right. But I'm just really, going to enjoy the show. In, in her mind, people only don't like her because she's fat. She doesn't do or say anything to make people really dislike her other than just existing as a fat person. I, I, would, I really want her to realize that her being fat is so far down right. the list. <laughs> like the bottom. Like, like you, you have <laughs> trying to talk to children naked. You have pedophile defender, animal abuser, serial doxer, serial harasser, uh, a, a list of stuff. A lot and of And being a fat asshole is right at the bottom. Yep. Anyways, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm just, whatever, I'm in terms of it. I'm not, it's, it's just not something I've ever wanted in my life. And there were times where I was like, you know, so just, my point is you, you have the nerve. Well... We know you had two vacuumed out, so. Right. To be like, you, what you say and you, what you comes out of your mouth is gonna get you in trouble. What I say once in a while in retaliation to what you say about me every day is gonna get me in trouble? Are you, are you, you have to be the dumbest woman on the internet. In retaliation. It's not in retaliation, Chantel. You, you, say you seek out these things that people say in order to get mad about it and have something to make a video about. You could call. just not listen. Mm -hmm. Wild things, you just infertility shamed me. You just called me an animal abuser in your time. So. She, oh my fucking you are an animal abuser Chantel you're infertile and you're an animal abuser those are two things that are true I think <sighs> titles but I don't have a right to defend myself yeah I don't think so you can't defend yourself right. from the truth honey my you just the can't for the day. I realize all of these people are not worth any attention so I'm gonna mm. try really hard to just go back to even in self-defense it's not worth it think what you want about me I don't care um, no boozing. My reputation is not ruined because I will always, I always have a nice following of beezers. Um, you people are not in my real You have, yeah, I, I have seven a, people. I have a group of people in my chat who are just brainwashed by what I say because they've never heard any other perspective but mine. Mm -hmm. Life. So, I mean, I really don't care um, if your butt hurts. And I just live my life. You people come for me. I defend myself. That's how it works. So, and luckily... It, she is so deluded she thinks that's true. Mm-hmm. There are smart people who see through that, and uh, yeah, that's all that matters is those people. This is why I'm here, this is why I do it. Not for you to have content to feed your child, to feed your family, whatever you do with hate money. I do it for people who enjoy my content, all right? And from the number of cameos I've received, there are quite a bit of people. All four? Probably. That's one thing you'll never have, cameo, because you're nobody. Unless it's weird that she supposedly gets all these cameos, but not a single one has ever been posted. Yeah, that's interesting. We have to go to the P.O. Box tonight? I have to print my shipping label first. Or tomorrow before the show, because I need to get that Beezer spray for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's not that's not for tomorrow's show. It, it'll be for the people there, then we could save the rest for Sunday. No, you save it for Sunday. No, no, no. Yeah. About me and Sunday. excuse me of things, you're a nobody. Bye. 
does it kill cat? That what? I want to pet that cat. What an absolute asshole. She's a horrible person. Well, you've re-put your so, Chantel. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. And yeah, she's asking for it. it. I mean, literally. <laughs> she is. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. My last word. No, mine. Mine. Mm.